comics, I think combined, are like 45 years old. So youth will be served. It's not going to be just your dad and your grandpa telling jokes. On it, is my point. That's what I'm trying to say. We're going to try to have a little variety. What can you do? Um, before I bring Nathan up, I would just like to say something. It is a real pleasure to bring up someone who is trying comedy for the first time, someone who has hopes and dreams, unlike all the rest of us on this show. Um, when, when he is finished, you guys are going to want to do one of two things. You're going to want to race up to him and congratulate him and talk amongst yourselves about how great he did. Or you're going to want to buy him a beer, console him, tell him <laughs> things are going to get better. Either way, you're going to lose your fucking focus. And my headliners come halfway across the country. My point is this. Let's let Nathan do his thing and then watch our headliner. He's really awesome too. And then afterward, you guys can just hang out in the front until tomorrow morning nobody gives a shit. Are we clear on the rule? It is my pleasure. And I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. If you think I'm not famous, okay, here we go. Please, you guys, put your hands together for I'm assuming the very funny Nathan Gaither, everybody. We're off to good start. Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Gaither and this is my first time doing stand-up comedy. Thankfully I don't know anyone in the room. So we be I know it looks like it's my first time in a bar in general. People often tell me that I have a baby face. And their go-to advice to give me is that I just grow out a beard to hide it. But I've been working on this for about two weeks now, so I don't think that plan's working out anytime soon. <laughs> and even if I could grow out a beard, I don't know if I'd really want to. Did you know 85% of beards have traces of fecal matter in them? Uh. Yeah, no thank you. <laughs> this pandemic really made me realize how gross people are. My own dad told me when I was a kid, that there was no need to wash my hands because if I just rubbed them fast enough together, the friction and heat would kill all the germs and I'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, I was really proud of that new magic trick and I went home to tell my mom about it. She said, okay, then go ahead and wipe without using any toilet paper and let me know how clean you feel afterwards. <laughs> they said she was right. <laughs> I also got this uh, watermelon-sized head from my dad, too. Thanks. <laughs> Safe to say, uh, one size fits all does not apply to me. <laughs> In my own uh, junior football league, they had to custom order an extra large helmet, <laughs> and they still had to let all the air out and cram my head inside. I was there. <laughs> You'd think, though, with all this brain, that I'd be pretty smart, right? You're wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, um, thank you, okay, for coming out. I appreciate laughing, even if it's not that funny. <laughs> Another thing I really hate about myself is that I cannot stand uncomfortable silences. I've noticed that I'd rather shout out a secret of mine or say something horrible than sit in an awkward two seconds. A great example of that is actually, I was just sitting, uh, with my African-American friend. And we've been friends for years, but I always wished we were closer. And there was an awkward two-second lull about, and I just blurted out to him, hey, did you know technically I'm actually more of a minority than you are? <laughs> you see, I'm left-handed. So. So African Americans make up 30% of the population, and it's a recessive trait, so I should be 25% of the population. But in fact, because of religious persecution, we're only 10% of the population of us lefties. That end, we probably lose a couple people every year due to scissors accidents. <laughs> uh, another time, I remember someone just shouting out something they didn't mean, like I just did then, was, uh, does anyone remember about nine years ago, there was an Asian flight that crashed into SFO? Yes! Yeah? Yes. 
<laughs> Thankfully, no one died upon impact, and everyone was fine. But in rushing out to be the first person to report the news, the uh, local news station, KTVU, wanted to let everyone know who the members, the crew members were. And so their anchor with a Ron Burgundy level of ignorance <laughs> repeated off the teleprompter, we'd like to report exclusively at, here at Fox 2 the names of the crew. They are Captain Something Wong, <laughs> Holy Fook, <laughs> We Too Low, and Bang Ding Ow. <laughs> True story, look it up after the show if you don't believe me. <laughs> now I've also witnessed firsthand people not really meaning what they shouted out. Uh, I used to go to school in Kentucky, and while I was there, I was actually working at a fried chicken place. Not the one you're thinking. <laughs> but uh, one day, this white gentleman walked in with his African-American wife and her mother, and he ordered a quarter pound of chicken. And so I asked him, would you like white meat or dark meat? Now, he looked at me and said verbatim, I like my chicken like I like my women. Dark. And reached out for a fist bump. I just froze in place and stared at his mother-in-law, waiting for her to smack him upside the head. Sadly, that never came. Thank you, guys. It's making it easier actually laughing at this stuff. Um, yeah. I, uh, you need a second, sir. So, I'm not saying that all people from Kentucky are dumb. I mean, it is the South, but that would be great. <laughs> However, the first girl I met from Kentucky actually thought that Hawaii and Alaska were in the Gulf of Mexico because of the little squares at the bottom corners of maps. <laughs> so yeah, that's great. And, uh, did you know, in Alaska, Inuits have a tradition of pushing their old elderly out to sea on a block of ice when they no longer contribute to the society. I was thinking, who in their right mind would do that? But then again, isn't that the modern day business plan of cruise ships? <laughs> I've often wondered, why do we put rages in jail? We wouldn't lock a shoplifter inside of a department store. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and why do we suspend kids for ditching school? Our punishment for them skipping class is an extra long weekend? How does that make any sense? Speaking of high school, uh, I actually just made the mistake recently of following my high school yard duty on Instagram. Now, she's the sweetest old lady. Everyone absolutely loved her. She's about in her 80s. Great lady. But what I didn't expect was for this once upon a time cheer captain to post photos of herself in her 20s in a bikini. And she was really hot, too. <laughs> Safe to say I did not know how to feel afterwards. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for all coming out. You've been a really great crowd, and I really appreciate it. Um, this last crowd I performed in front of uh, actually booed me off stage and called me a pussy. Yeah, the stage was my living room. And, and the crowd was my mom. But, What can I say? She's a critic. <laughs> I noticed uh, a couple of you tensed up when I said the word pussy there. But actually, I was allowed to say it in my high school English class. Because, I don't know if you knew this, but it has nothing to do with female genitalia. In fact, it's short for the word pusillanimous, which has a dictionary definition of showing a lack of courage or timidity. We've all been pussies. <laughs> Now, I may be good at English, but I've really never been good at math. My own little brother, who's autistic and three years younger than me, has beat me at math facts my entire life. <laughs> you have to understand, he couldn't speak in full sentences until the age of six, but he was beating me to the punch at seven times seven, well before the age of five. 
He's also uh, really observant too. He managed to potty train himself just by watching those around him. <laughs> Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for that matter, his only example to pull from was our dogs. <laughs> Boy, can I tell you, it was a surprise to the neighbors when we watched him pull down his diaper on the front lawn and take a shit. <laughs> Even was staring at us for permission too, like a golden retriever. <laughs> Thankfully though, he didn't try and use friction to clean off his ass on the grass. Because then he would have proved my dad right. Thank you guys so much, you've been awesome.